five exercises that you can do anywhere. But what's special about these ones? No one will ever notice that you are getting a full ab, butt and thigh firming routine while nailing that presentation or a meeting. Best part is no sweat. Whoever said you can't get abs or steel without sweating hasn't tried these exercises. And you can do these in suit, dresses, sari, kaftan, kimono or jeans. If you're curious, then let's begin. Welcome to Blush With Me. Number one, contract your abs and butt and sit in a meeting. A special hi-fi if you just contracted your abs or butt. You can do them separately too if it's hard for you to concentrate on doing both of them together. Forget about doing 100. In about 10, you will start feeling the burn in your abs. Take longer to breathe in and longer to exhale to feel the contraction for much longer. Number two, create that hollow vacuum in your stomach. For those of you who are used to doing yoga, you will find it easier to do this. But for those of you who are new, when you exhale all that air out, try to exhale even more. Scoop your belly button in and up towards your ribs and you will see that vacuum created. Best done when you are empty stomach. And you don't need any equipment for this. Very effective and no one will ever notice that you're doing it. If you're enjoying this video so far, then give your finger some exercise by clicking that subscribe button, like and share button. Share it with your colleagues and encourage a fitter work environment. <laughs> Number three, if you're a beginner, start with basic contraction of your abs instead of going for the the hollow vacuum technique and you will notice how contracting your abs constantly also supports your back which means better posture and less back aches think about it if you could master contracting your abs and walking how you could fake that flat stomach all the time when you walk up to make it work on the lower abs concentrate on sucking it upwards instead of just sucking it in Next one is to stretch one leg out under the table. Just make sure that your foot is parallel to the ground. You could go up and down or just hold it still. If you sit on the edge of the chair to do it, you will increase the intensity and moving back into your chair will make it easier. In my opinion, start on the edge of the seat, even if you're new to doing this. Initially, you may hold for about 10 counts, but slowly you can go from 10 to 20 to 30. This is a great workout for your legs and your abs. Next one is to squeeze a bottle between your thighs when you're sitting. Now this is an amazing inner thigh burner. You can start these with whatever number you are comfortable with. My suggestion is instead of giving up when you start feeling the burn, do a few more. These last few ones will be far more effective than the first few. If you wear skirts, you can feel the benefit of this exercise even if you don't have a bottle between your legs. Start with 20 to 30 seconds and increase the intensity with time. I've said this before and I'll say it again. I am not a certified fitness instructor. I'm just a mother of two who has been through two C-sections and I enjoy staying fit and healthy for my family, for my boys. I like to run and play with them and be one of them. I understand women and photography. So this is my channel where I help you with my suggestions on better lifestyle, confidence, health, beauty and photography. You guys love my body transformation video and my today's topic was highly requested from that one and so was easy workouts at home. That one will come up soon too. So that means I do take your comments seriously. One important question. What is harder to get rid of? Muffin top bulge or cellulite? Shoot your answers and comments in the comment section below and help me make another dynamic video. Hope you're joining my subscribers family for my weekly videos and do follow me on Instagram and Facebook fan page 
for more because I share my everyday posts, stories and live videos there. I will see you next Thursday. Until then, flush with me. I'm a mother of two who has been through two sus I'm a mother of two who has been through two su I'm a mother of two who has been through two sus su sex